Hi, how are you doing? I hope you are all well. We've had Storm Kira last week and this week we have Storm Dennis outside of the window. So if you hear any banging, then it's not me, it's Dennis. Over the last few years, I've been going through a big transformation. This definitely had effect on my decision to pretty much stop drinking. But uh, the trend of um, shifting away from drinking culture and partying culture has been in my life for a little bit longer. Now looking back, I can see a lot of benefits of that shift in my lifestyle that I would like to share with you today. You may or may not know that I have been quite a party girl when I was a teenager, probably in between the age of 16, 17 to 19, maybe 20 a little bit. I was partying like a lot. Four or five times a week I was out and it's been wild. Then I moved to the UK for the university and uh, until I was about 25, 26 I was surrounded by a lot of people who like to drink a lot, who like to party a lot. I, I just never questioned it really. That was a normal part of life. At some point I started realizing that things might not be that good for me and I started slowly shifting away from that partying drinking culture. I will probably never say that I don't drink completely zero never because this is simply isn't true but I never get drunk. I can't even remember last time when I was drunk so it's been years now. The first benefit I've noticed when I started saying no to alcohol especially around people who used to know me as someone who is drinking is assertiveness. I think practicing and little things like saying no to alcohol helped me to be more assertive in bigger things in life. I can definitely see a progress from feeling really uncomfortable and guilty and fear of missing out that you know the party won't be the same if I won't drink that much. Now I really don't care what anybody else says when I say no. That was a learning curve for me and thanks to <laughs> saying no to alcohol I am more assertive now. Second benefit is kind of obvious, it's uh, no hangovers and also free weekends in a sense that I don't feel obligated anymore to go to the parties, especially if I know that everybody will be drinking. I never saw an option before and now I can just say no altogether and have a quiet evening or quiet weekend to do other things. Having no hangover on Saturdays, which by the way takes so much energy from your body, I'm much more productive and much more creative because you know being creative takes a certain amount of clarity and space in your head and when someone is under influence of alcohol it takes few days to get to that clarity point at least it to, took that long for me and um, I wasted a lot of weekends that now I really treasure. This YouTube channel probably would never exist if I was a still party girl and still drinking girl. When everyone else was at the party I was working, everyone else was hangover on Saturday I was working, everyone else uh, was uh, Netflix and chilling on Sunday after a Saturday party and I was working on YouTube videos. It's a choice you know some people prefer to go partying drinking and some people like myself decided that this is of a more benefit to me than going out drinking. The third benefit is a better rest. I was robbing myself from resting properly over the weekend because that's the time when we should really recharge and uh, when I was uh, you know drinking and partying my body just never had that slot to completely regenerate. Not having an alcohol as an option to relax forced me to find other ways to chill out. If I really feel like I need to you know to relax that night I like to have some uh, lemon balm tea. It's so deliciously uh, relaxing that you know I'm looking forward to a cup of tea like this you know I feel like an, an old grandma <laughs> talking to you about it having a tea instead of a drink but that's how I feel these days and I'm very happy with this choice Another benefit of not drinking is having this clarity in thought and mind. These days I'm so unused to having this cloudy dizzy feeling that even if I have one small glass of wine I can feel it and I absolutely hate it. In that clarity that's where the creativity flows. I cannot stress enough how much difference it makes to be able to be more productive, to help people in a better way than being constantly kind of dimmed in the head because I wasn't feeling quite 100% because you know my body was either processing alcohol or was under the influence of it. 
Another benefit is having better quality time with friends and people that you really care about. Uh, I remember that going to pubs and clubs, you're often surrounded by a lot of people that you only have small talks with, just kind of like shallow conversations with. And uh, I just never liked it. And these days I prefer to go with my friends for breakfast. I love to go for trips, for walks. And uh, sometimes we meet early in the mornings to do these things. This is not something that was even a part of my lifestyle a few years ago, but uh, I love that this is an option now because it's much more fulfilling, much more meaningful. It doesn't have to involve alcohol whatsoever, which is a great thing. Another one for all fellow introverts is uh, having more energy. Going out and meeting people, it takes a lot of energy and it just like drains you out. If you take this out from your life, it really boosts your energy levels significantly that you can then spend it on more um, beneficial things. A great thing about drinking very little, if you do happen to go out, is that you can easily feel that point when it's time to go home. Basically, there comes the point at every party that everyone just gets a little bit too drunk, just it's getting a little bit too much, and I know that's the point I just I, I'm out and I won't miss anything. In the past, I would keep drinking past that point, which then made me a little bit too drunk and made me make stupid things, spend a little bit more money than I planned, made me miss the last bus home and all the other negative things that just didn't have to happen if I knew the right point to leave the party. Another obvious benefit is that you simply look better. Alcohol is quite heavy and very dehydrating on the body and I, as a skincare lover, can't praise enough having a hydrated, well-balanced skin 24-7. When I even have a small glass of like Prosecco, then I can feel it so much the next day how dehydrated I am. And I never felt this before when I used to drink more. So the, le the less you drink, the more sensitive you become on these little fluctuations. You know, I'm very inspired by Japanese and Korean beauty culture and in these kind countries, drinking just doesn't really exist because they recognize the bad effects that it has on the body that then show on the outer appearance. It's even really hard to find any cosmetics that contain alcohol because they just avoid it at all costs. And uh, some people will claim that their skin cleared out after they stopped drinking, that they don't have uh, eye bags anymore. And this is all definitely true. So um, not drinking definitely has beauty impact. <laughs> So I told you about few benefits that I've noticed after I stopped drinking. And there is one thing that I'm just not sure what to think about it. Uh, it's not a bad thing, but I don't know if it's a good thing either. But you know, I just want to be kind of true to you <laughs> to tell you what exactly happens when you start to say no to alcohol. And this is that a lot of my good friends are still drinkers and some of them are heavy drinkers. And I've noticed over the years that the gap between us is kind of widening. We are still really good friends during the day when activities don't involve alcohol. But when we plan the evenings on holidays, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to find that right balance. And to be honest, I hope this is as far as it uh, will ever go, uh, which is just, you know, a little bit of adjustment and that's fine. But I cannot rule out that some people may just uh, <laughs> shift to a completely different uh, set of friends because you just don't share their lifestyle anymore. However, this little thing still doesn't even compare with all the benefits I've noticed over the years of uh, reducing uh, my drinking intake. And I am not even looking to come back to that uh, old lifestyle. My happiness level, the overall sense of well-being, and just the quality of life became so much better. You know, because I've become more productive and more creative, I've also started earning a little bit more money. And it, it just has so many benefits I can't tell anyone not to do something that they like to do, but maybe, you know, just to drop some seeds to consider that there is another way of life and that it has its benefits and that you don't have to be an old person to make that choice as well. I'm 30, so for some people I'm old, but maybe not for everybody. <laughs> I think Storm Dennis was behaving through this video, so thank you for that, Dennis. Hello. <laughs> and uh, I wonder, what do you think about this subject? Uh, if you drink at all and uh, if you've stopped drinking, if you've had the same experiences as I have. So um, thanks very much for spending this time with me again and see you later. Bye!